Good afternoon students. Welcome to this video segment. My name is Samuel Chupu Emeka. In this video segment, we shall be talking about exponents. Uh, this is the first video segment of a series uh, where we will be talking about exponents. Uh, when we look at this, for instance, if we have something like 2 raised to the top power. We see this kind of thing and uh, if you have your scientific calculator, you can see it as x raised to the power y. Some people will see it this way or some people will see it like this, y raised to the power x. Some people will also see it this way. This means raised to the power, right? This bottom one is what we call the base. It's what we call the base. And the top one is what we call the exponent. Or, some people will say it's the power. Or, index. So, uh, exponent or power or index is what we call the top one. And this one is called the base. So, the exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. Like, when you have now 2 raised to power 3, this means 2 times 2 times 2. That means you have multiplied the base 3 times. If you, the same thing if you have b raised to power 4, it means b times b times b times b. So, that means you've multiplied the base four times. Here b is the base and 4 is the exponent. So, the exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. The exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at some laws of exponents. Let's go ahead and look at some laws of exponents. The first one we have is what we call the product rule. You can call it the product rule. Here, when we have the same base, it must be the same base, like if we have x raised to power a multiplied by x raised to power b, this is going to give us, you bring down the base, you bring out one base, and then you add the exponent. You must have the same base, and if they have different exponents, or even if they have the same exponents, you bring out one base, you bring out the common base, and you add the exponent. So, if we have something like <coughs> 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 2, right? If we use PEMDAS, if we use PEMDAS, you know what I mean by PEMDAS? Please excuse my dear on Sally. That is a parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. That's what you use in arithmetic. If we use PEMDAS, this will be 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 times 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. That is if we use PEMDAS. And 8 times 4 will give you 32. Right? Yeah. Or another way you can do this is you have 2 times 2 times 2. That is for 2 raised to power 3, then times 2 times 2. That is for 2 raised to power 2. So this is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. Now, but if we use exponents, if we use the product rule, if we use the product rule of exponents, then we now have because it is the same base, 
2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 2. We bring out one base 2 and we add the exponent 3 plus 2. And then we have 2 raised to the power 5. And that gives us 32. The same thing. So it, it, it also goes for any, uh, like, any variable, right? Like if you have, if you have a, if you have a b in parentheses raised to power five times a b in parentheses raised to power three, because it's still the same base, because it's still the same base, you have a b in parentheses raised to the power 5 plus 3 and which is a b in parentheses a is still the same way just provided that they have the same base this product rule works all right the second rule number two is what we call the quotient rule quotient rule Here, if we have x raised to power a, x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b, you can either see it this way, or you can see it this way, x raised to power a all over x raised to power b. This and this, they mean the same thing. They mean the same thing. So this, because they have the same base, you bring it out, x raised to power a minus b. Right? x raised to the power a minus b. The top exponent minus this bottom exponent. Right? So the exponent in the numerator subtract the exponent in the denominator. I can say the exponent in the denominator subtracted from the exponent in the numerator. So the same thing if we have it here, 2 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 raised to the power 2. If we use PEMDAS, if we use PEMDAS, it will be 8 divided by 4, which is what? 2. But if we use the quotient rule of exponents, then it will be 2 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 raised to the power 2, because they have the same base, 2. This will be 3 minus 2, which is 2 raised to the power 1, which is 2. Now, they must have the same base. If they don't have the same base, no, you cannot apply the quotient rule or product rule. For this to work, they must have the same base. Okay? Now, let's look at the third one, the third room, which I still do because of the video. We want to make the video short. As possible, we will not do all the rules here. We look at the zero exponent. Right? We have that any exponent raised to the zero power, any exponent raised to zero power will give us one. Any exponent raised to zero power will give us one. Any exponent. raised to the zero power gives one. Let me say any base, please. Any base, not exponent. Any base raised to the zero power or zero exponent or zero exponent gives one. So if I have x raised to the power 0, it will give me 1. If I have a raised to the power 0, it will give me 1. If I have negative a raised to the power 0, it will give me 1. Now, there is something here, and I want to talk about it now. Uh, what if I have, what if I have, and this is kind of deviating a bit, what if I have negative a raised to power 0, like this? Now, if I have negative a raised to power 0, you see, when you talk about this, these two things, do they mean the same thing? 
No, they do not. And let me explain this. When you have the negative A enclosed in parentheses, you treat it like an entity. You treat it like an entity. Okay? You don't treat it uh, as if it's two different things. You treat it as an entity, one thing, because it's enclosed in parentheses. So this will give you one. But if you have this one, negative A raised to power zero, let me write it here. This means negative one times A raised to power zero. That is what it means. And this will not give you negative one times one. And this will give you negative one. Now, this is like a deviation because some people get confused here. If you have 24 raised to power zero, it will give you one. If you have negative 24 as an entity raised to power 0, and if you have negative 24 like this raised to power 0, this one will give you 1, but this one will give you negative 1. Why? Because it is negative 1 times 24 raised to power 0, which is now negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. Let me kind of do just few examples more and then we call it a video, I mean we call it a day or this video. What if I have this? I want you to kind of do this 2x0, 2x raised to power 0, negative 2x0, negative 2x raised to power 0, right? Kind of look at this. And uh, what if I have negative, negative 2x raised to the power 0? Okay, if we do the first one, 2x0, this means 2 times x raised to the power 0. Because this is not, the 2x is not in parentheses. So you don't treat it as an entity, as one. You treat it as two different things. 2 times x raised to the power 0. And x raised to the power 0 will give us 1. 2 times 1, and this is 2. So this will give us two. Now, if we have this one, this one, two x in parentheses all zero. This is an entity. It's an entity. So it gives you one. Now, in this case, what will it give? This two negative two x raised to power zero. This is negative two times x raised to power zero which is negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. So this gives negative 2. Then this one is an entity. You treat it as an entity because it is in parentheses. So this gives 1. Now this, this will give you what? You see that in this case, there is a negative outside. So in this, you treat this as separate Multiplying by an entity, this negative outside is separate, then it's, it's being multiplied by an entity. So this is like negative 1 times negative 2x raised to power 0. This is what this means. And this is now negative 1 times, this is an entity which will give you 1, and this is negative 1. So this becomes negative 1. Alright, uh, please. We, are, we will stop the video here so that the video is, should, uh, will not be so long. Uh, we will cover the other laws of exponents in the next video. Thank you so much, students, and you have a great day.